Hello Leo, Leo Rising and Leo Moon people, this is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting November 20th, 2017. And a quick reminder for all of you Leos out there, remember that if you ever want to get a session with me, you just need to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. Um, you can always just follow the links below. It's the same place you would go to get a session with me, whether it's an appointment or a downloadable video file. So, what is going on with your astrology this week, Leo? On Tuesday, we've got a lovely assignment going on. In the, in the stars, we've got Venus, planet of magnetism, attraction, and favor in your fourth house of home and family, forming a gorgeous sextile to Pluto, currently in your eighth house of shared resources and passive income. And there could actually be some good news about an increase in household income or household wealth coming outside of your hourly or salary or hourly or salary income. This is especially wonderful for those of you again working in a home-based business operation. Some of you may actually find that uh, this energy could even be the great time to launch a home-based business, or if you are trying to simply increase the value of a piece of property that you have. Again, it's very similar to the Mercury aspect, only with Venus we have an offer coming your way, or perhaps even some money coming to a spouse that's a big surprise, or possibly even a favor that you get to share in. Later on in the week, however, on Friday, we've got Mercury, planet of communications, haste and speed, in your fifth house, Sagittarius, love, romance, and relationships with your children, forming a tense square to Chiron, planet, the, not planet, but the asteroid that rules old wounds in the eighth house of shared resources and passive income. And there could be some issues coming up with a child or perhaps even a lover um, about fairness or about uh, fairness in time spent or perhaps fairness in how much resources we're, you know, we're using. Some of you may need to have that talk with one of your kids, uh, or perhaps this may be also a discussion that comes up with a lover that we've not necessarily had about where money is going when it comes to this relationship or the household. Um, this could also be, for those of you who are single, some confusing information that may come up with somebody that we're dating. Um, around, you know, either intimacy or, again, shared time or resources. This is a conversation that probably has been avoided by one or both of you that still needs to happen. So what's going on with your cards this week? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the talisman upright. And the talisman's prompt basically reads, you are destined to succeed. It's a token of protection. It's basically meant to be a sign that, look, this week, yes, you will be facing a lot of things that you wish would just go away on their own, but they're not. And it can be kind of seen as a sign that, you know, okay, every once in a while, all roads come into one road. And you have to go through it no matter what, even if we've been looking for detours and shortcuts the whole time. The talisman is saying that should you accept that, uh, you will actually prevail and get what you desire. You know, you will come out unscathed. But the, t the talisman is saying, again, to face a challenge that we have not necessarily wanted to. Again, conversations we've been avoiding, um, maybe uh, projects, maybe, you know, things that we've swept under the rug or kept in the cupboard for far too long, need to come out, need to be reorganized. The talisman card is basically saying, we're ripping off a band-aid this week, and if we decide to, you may find out that it's not going to hurt so much, and it may be over more quickly and painlessly than you could have expected. For your emotion, for your emotions, skip the whole thing. For your earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the three of cups reversed. And there could be some issues going on um, at the office where we find out that perhaps a social circle, uh, whether it's a social circle that you're working with, uh, teammates, uh, colleagues, or perhaps if you work for yourself, you know, this could be a networking group, um, or again, somebody you consider to be a peer in your field. There seems to be some infighting going on. There seems to be some click wars, some division, some, you know, competition getting personal. And the Three of Cups reverse is saying, you know, this probably is something that we can avoid as long as we don't let ourselves get sucked into everyone getting so personal. The Three of Cups reverse can indicate on a financial level everything is actually going to be A-OK, -okay, but you want to be mindful of who knows your financial business. It may change the way they interact with you whether in, you know, in, in just a neutral way or in a negative way. 
It's important to keep things discreet and from allowing too much of our personal professional track or our personal financial track to be going too public this week, you know? And sometimes that's kind of hard to do, you know, people talk, we share with people we think are our friends, we, you know, let people, you know, let clients know what's going on. People will change, you know? It's kind of like, well, somebody found out you made more money, so they decided to gouge you, or somebody realized you didn't make as much money, so they thought they would buy you. And this is the kind of energy of this week that we can, again, avoid if we just make sure to pay attention to where the infighting and where the fractious friendships really are, okay? For your communications with air when it comes to your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life, we've got the Six of Pentacles upright. So we have allies, absolutely. This card is one of the yes answer cards, one of the very cut and dry yes answer energies. If we've been waiting for a favor, or asking for a favor, or some help, uh, from a friend or a relative, you may actually find out that he or she is absolutely willing and able to provide, um, whether this is a service or something else. The Six of Pentacles can also indicate somebody perhaps actually going out and out of the goodness or generosity of their heart, actually taking a care of a matter or a priority that you have yet to face or you have yet to have time to deal with on your own. And the Six of Pentacles can indicate this person going out and still doing it as a very generous gift to you. So remember, gratitude keeps the good fortune coming, so make sure that they are, you know, they, they, they know you are, you are grateful. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Five of Wands reversed. And your challenge this week is basically knowing when not to again get involved. All right, the Five of Wands reversed as a challenge can sometimes show up where, you know, Leo, you guys are one of the zodiac signs that cares a lot about team morale, <laughs> you know, and group morale. You are very, very invested in that. And a lot of the adult signs, the, 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 the Leo, the Virgo, the Libra, you know, a lot of the adult signs are really, really interested in morale and group morale. But the Five of Wands reversed is saying knowing when not to intervene knowing when not to stick your neck on the chopping block for other people is a very important thing. You know, you may try to stage an intervention in whatever teamwork breakdown is going on with Three of Cups reversed. You may try to, um, you know, again, put, get your input in, get another person's situation under control uh, for him or her. This is not the week to do it. Absolutely not. Um, the Five of Wands reversed can indicate a need to pay attention to where other people need to be able to fight their own battles. And even if you might feel like it's not very nice or not a very friendly thing to do, it may be an important lesson for them. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Eight of Swords reversed. And the Eight of Swords reversed is actually a good card to get reversed because it talks about, again, a release. And one of the things I'm kind of picking up for you is that um, something that has been holding you back um, pulling your energy away from being available to either date, spend more time with your partner, whatever, is going to be lifted, going to be released. Whether it is something that, you know, maybe there's been a lot of resistance to a commitment. Maybe there's been a lot of resistance either in yourself or in your partner. Maybe there's been a lot of distractions. The Eight of Swords reverse can also indicate, you know, the release of some kind of mental complex um, that maybe a partner or, or we or a child or maybe just the, like the whole relationship has been coping with that has been actually doesn't need to be coped with it needs to be released finally getting released this week this may actually be something that has been a bit of an impediment if maybe it's been something that's making a partner afraid to move or making a, a child afraid to grow up or making again a, a dating partner consider a, a full-fledged relationship Something is going to be taking that weight off shoulders this week. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Don't forget to check out your rising and your moon signs, people. That's why I say that in the beginning. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.